Hey, it's Lynn. What's up? So, let's talk about what's going on with me right now. So, we're gonna get real personal, really, about me right now. Because uh, something that can happen when you're in transition is that you get breakthrough cycles. That's what we're gonna call it. So, <clears throat> this has happened to me twice now. And, la and so, I got tested, my levels, my T levels were low, and so my doctor didn't want to change the levels yet. Uh, she wanted to wait, see if it, you know, leveled out <coughs> after, you know, a few more shots. And now, again, I have gotten my cycle, which waking up to that, so uncomfortable, like... It gives all kinds of bottom dysphoria. Yeah, so today was a hard day at work. And then having to ask to, you know, can I not be at work today? Because <laughs> I'm not wanting to do anything, so... I've I've gotten kind of close to one person at work, and um, <clears throat> she's pretty cool. So you know, I, and she's you know a boss lady. So I went and talked to her, and you know, explained what's going on, and that I you know I called my doctor and everything like this. Of course, I've called my doctor. <clears throat> and uh, sorry, I keep looking down. I should be looking at the camera, but it's because I'm thinking. Um, anyway, so, I explained what was going on and what I'm going through, and she was like, okay, are you okay? Are you mentally okay? Are you physically okay? What are you going through? It was so nice to have somebody that was, you know, she doesn't know me that well. I've, this is a new job I've only been at for almost, you know, for about two months now. Yeah. And, um, so I don't know these people that well. I don't know her that well, but she's probably the person that I'm closest with. And <clears throat> so telling her, explaining to her what I'm going through, having a cycle and all this dysphoria and what I'm going through emotionally, because, you know, clearly there's um, hormones that are all out of whack inside of me and I need to get, I'm in the need of getting that under control. So, you know, I've called my doctor. Hopefully I'll get a call back today. I haven't gotten a call back yet, but... <clears throat> Yeah, I'm feeling all kind of down today. And I'm I'm a pretty happy guy. Pretty smiley, you know. Keep your smile. It's my theme all the time. I say it all the time, you know. Good vibes. All about it. But it's, you know, hard to use my STP because I use a Go Girl because I can't afford um, a good one, that the one that I want yet. So... It's hard to use that when you have stuff like that going on. It you know it feels unsanitary. So then you know I can I need to sit. It's gonna happen, and it's hard to go to public restrooms. And then for me anyway, that you know I have that. I'm not always that comfortable. So. It's hard to use them, especially because I'm out in the field. I, I work hospice, so I'm out on the streets all the time, going from patient to patient, getting things done. Hold on. I to, sorry. My phone was telling me stuff. Anyway, um, I'm going patient to patient, you know, and so I don't, I'm in patients' houses sometimes, and I'm, I'm not comfortable going to the bathroom in people's houses. That's just weird. I just can't do it. And when I'm in facilities, some of them have bathrooms I'm not comfortable in. Uh, or, so I'll go to, like, public bathrooms, like McDonald's or Vons or, you know, places like that. And that's not always the most comfortable situation. But sometimes I get lucky, nobody's in the bathroom, who good for me. But, anyway, so, that's what's going on with me right now, guys. It happens, sometimes you get breakthroughs, and I'm trying to stay positive and keep, you know, the flat, the, the vibe going. Let's keep smiling, yeah, you know? But it's hard, so I'm at home for the day. That means, you know, no more shirt. Fuck the shirt. 
bathroom. Fuck that shit. No more shirt for today. I'm done. Um, hope everybody's having a good day. Happy Thursday. It's me, Liam. I'm out.